Hi there, Delroy again from Eastway. I've just returned to this job where I done the EICR the other day and I tried to fit an RCBO to the fuse board, but it couldn't go in. So I've come back now to fit a couple of RCD sockets to the downstairs ring circuit to cover that. So, and then put the circuit chart and all that up. Anyway, I'll get on with it, see how it goes. Thanks for watching. Right, this, when it switched off the neon stays on with this, switched on and off. I think it's because they've put the incoming, the load where the main should be and the mains where the load should be. I think that's the problem there. That's cross threaded. Take this out. Right, so that's my main. That's the mains coming in. The other one should be the load. Right, so. So that's the mains coming in. Disconnect the switch because I can't see the writing on it to see what's his made and what is not. Right, so it says there's supply. I don't know if you can see that. Down the bottom there it says supply, so this should have been down there. That's what's causing the problem. And at the top there it says load. You can't see it there. It says load there. Supply down there, they had it connected the wrong way around. I hate these little connect, these cooker, little, these single connectors, cooker things, cooker switches. But it's so hard to, especially when they use 10 mils as well. It's terrible. When they use 10 mil cable, it makes it really bad to get good connections. That's why a lot of the times you go and you find the connections are loose. But it's so hard to connect into these. I, think, I don't know if they do a 50 mil deep box because to be honest if you do if you're using a single connector you need a deep deep box to get to make sure of your connections right, okay so this is the load here Just in case people are wondering why I am, I've said this before in previous videos, but for those who haven't seen that, the reason why I'm twisting it together like this is to make it more solid. Because sometimes when you don't and you screw it, it can break some of the cores. So when you do it like this, it makes it more solid. <laughs> I got that from a, someone who came to change a meter from the, the supply authorities. They came to change a meter. And I was, always, I was always told you don't twist cables, but what they mean, you don't twist ca cables, two cables together. But I took it as, oh, you don't twist cables. But I saw him, he was connecting the tails. It was connecting to the meter and he was twisting them together. I thought, oh, I said, you're not supposed to do that, are you? Why'd you do that? And he says, no, when you, that's how we trained. When you twist it together like that, it makes it more solid so you don't damage the cores. I thought, oh yeah, that makes sense. Never thought of that. So ever since I see him do that, I've been doing it <laughs> because it makes a lot of sense. Makes it more solid. So whenever I have stranded cables, I'm going to connect them in. I twist them together. See, you learn things every day in this business. You're never too old to learn. You're never too good to learn. <laughs> It's just like um, the, when I've said this again, I've said this before, but people may not, uh, other new people may not know about it, is when um, an apprentice, I was working with an apprentice, apprentice or a young Sparky, who had just come out of his time, and he told me about that um, first to make, last to break, when you, when you are um, disconnecting neutral and live 
is like first to make. Neutral is the first to make, last to break. <laughs> Never heard of it in my life. <laughs> but the youngster told me about it, and, and he's right. Because if you connect the new, dis if you disconnect the neutral, first make last bit. If you disconnect neutral on the load, it, you make get this big spark. See that light's on, off. Whereas before it was on, where we switch it on and off. All right, so I switch it back off to push it back. Yeah, I better tap that out because that, I don't know if, it, yeah, look at that screw. I don't know if you can see that, it's all worn and all that. So I'm gonna get a, I don't know why you use such long screws, but I may have to tap that out because that was cross-threaded. got a little bit of a dilemma here this obviously that's the socket I'm fitting so there's only there's a socket there a socket there and a socket there so what the client's saying to me I said it's which one socket it's either that one over here or that one there because it's near the gun so he's saying because he likes the look of that and all that can I put it there which is behind the fridge so I said well, to be honest, I don't know. It, I've never been, I would put it near to the nearest one to the garden. That's, I think that's the best thing to do, put it to the nearest one to the garden. But I'm not sure, maybe you can put it there. So I said, well, if you can put a note or notify your, cli your clients that if you're running anything out to the garden, he's got to use that socket. If you can do that, then I suppose it's okay. So that's where I'm gonna put it because he thinks it's quite, it's ugly. <laughs> So these are the things, regulation wise, I'm not sure. Because obviously I would put it there because it's the nearest one to the garden. This isn't far from the garden, you know, you can still, so technically, I, I don't know, I'm gonna put it here because that's what the client wants. And I've explained to him what he needs to do. This is the only, if you're plugging something to go outside, this is the only socket you can use. So I don't know whether it's wrong or right, but. Right, there's a socket fitting at the front, LCD. <laughs> and that's the one fitted there where they wanted it. Couldn't really film it because they was having a sort of a, what them, like a conference meeting, someone with a phone somewhere else. I didn't want to pick up their conversation, so I just turned the camera off. Right, according to the new regs, you only have to do one test on the times one, whether it's on zero degrees or 180, it doesn't matter. So I'm going to try it on the half test now to see, obviously it shouldn't trip. Right, there we go. Right, okay. Right, okay. Now you do it on the one, right, it's at the zero, right? 0.42 so that's it you don't need to do any more tests you don't need to do it at 180 Oops. right 441.6 right okay so if I went to auto so does that mean that when they bring the next version of the MF, MFT whatever is it going to be without this auto because it doesn't seem like it's needed anymore? Forty-two point eight. Forty-two point one. So on the, the times five it doesn't matter anymore. Yeah, I just done that as an exercise to show. But yeah, all that's out the window. <laughs> 
when you're doing RCDs now, checking RCDs, you only need to check it on the half cycle to make sure it doesn't drip and on the, the one cycle. And you, for instance, right, so check this RCD socket, what you do, that's on the zero, change it to the 180. that's lovely but now you put it on here and you just check it on once right 47.1 whether it's on the zero or the 180 that's it, it doesn't matter doesn't matter you can that's it that's all don't need to do any more checks the times five is out anyway just for the exercise thing I'm just gonna do it the way I used to do it okay see what happens But all that's out the window now. You only check it once on the times one, whether it's on the zero or the 180, doesn't matter. It's all good, isn't it? So I wonder, when they make the next version of this tester, will they have the auto? Because it's good when you're doing all the tests, but when you're just doing the two tests, I suppose it's still helpful, but yeah, so it's all good. Yeah, actually it's still helpful because if you're doing it on a socket, then you'll have to be at the fuse board to do it, so the auto will still be good, yeah. Check this, see what it says. Watch your right point one. Watch your point nine. Okay. Little thing I forgot to do, put some green sleeve in, green and yellow sleeve in on that. Just put this stick on, just getting ready to go on, I just noticed. Put some um, sleeve in on that, that won't fit. Make sure, um, oh yeah, test the ZD again just to make the best. Let's make sure I've got a good, good connection. Well, that's all completed, thank God for that. Some little little things I had to do, but it always takes me longer than I think it would. But it's all sorted. I'll do a certificate and send it over. Thanks for watching, see you next time.